Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the 11 tips to remove boredom as a manual tester. So, uh, I know lots of manual testers are there and they feel bored because uh, manual task is exhausting, guys. And uh, most of the time, as we know, that uh, we have to do manual testing also while doing uh, while performing the software testing. And uh, according to one of the survey, I got to know that most of the people, especially as a QA, are working as a manual tester. So how can you uh, improve and how can you remove the boredom? Let's find out in this video. All right. So let's start. So guys, uh, the first thing uh, first that I would like to tell you, uh, tell you is that what you need to do is that inspire yourself with the goal setting. So uh, what you need to do is that you need to have smart goals. What is smart goals? Smart goals are like uh, what well, is the definition of smart as you can see it's a specific measurable achievable realistic and timely goal all right so what you need to do is that if you are doing a manual testing you need to set certain goals that okay uh, i have a nine to five job and i want to do these these, these tasks so the first thing first is that you need to write down whatever the task that you need to do right and you need to list down according to the priorities and the heaviest other task the most important task you have to do the first thing so the whenever you uh, whenever you come to your office the first thing you have to do is the, the most important task which is going to make the impact okay so that's how you basically remove the boredom because the task that is the more the most hard task or the first task which has the most priority it's going to be very bored uh, it's going to be give you more boredom right so uh, you have already done it because in the half of the day you have already done the task that you have already uh, that you believe that that was one of the uh, you can say very bore, bore task right so that's how you can remove the boredom all right so let's come to the second point try to challenge yourself guys this is one of the important thing especially as a manual test and i'm going to tell you by uh, my story uh, so when i was doing the manual testing all right so what i did is that uh, whatever the daily task i had right uh, i created certain scripts certain small small automation scripts uh, i'm going to give you some some links means autom how to uh, there's a, a particular website automating i uh, automating your daily task with python something like this and uh, those are the small scripts that you can use so what i was doing is that i was continuously generating the test data so i i learned a little bit about the python and uh, basically converted the small task that i was doing into the scripts right so you what you need to do is that you need to challenge yourself means uh just uh the things that you have done basically the task that you have already list down right what you need to do is that you need to challenge yourself try to finish them as soon as possible and finish them on time and for example if the same type of uh work is coming every time right because that that is going to give you a boredom right in manual testing you need to basically challenge yourself so that uh, the task that you are doing in four hours you need to do it in six three hours and that's how you create a certain challenging environment around you uh, means you challenge yourself that okay I, the similar task has come i will take less time and do it so that uh, uh, the boredom that is there right to do the task is going to remove all right i hope that makes sense and let's come to the third point which is the important one it is like stay positive and enjoy the company of the positive people right so what you need to do is that to remove boredom especially as a manual tester i understand uh, you know that you are the average of five people you spend more of the time right so what exactly you need to do is that uh, try to hang out with the people which you think you yeah, what uh, whatever you think you want to become for example uh, while i was when I was uh, doing manual testing most of the time, I tried to hang out with different uh, different domain of the the people with a different domain. For example, I tried to hang out with certain uh, who would like to discuss more about the different uh, expertise that, that they have. Means how they are doing better at their job. And we discuss about them. And uh, an another interesting thing is that uh, uh, I was hanging out with the people who are already doing the automation so that's how uh, i got to learn about means what exactly they are doing what is their day, what is their daily task and in the lunch uh, i don't try to hang out with the same uh, same expertise level of uh, people because uh, you know whenever we have a uh, same type of expertise people we try to 
uh, discuss the problems that we have, right? And these problems, if we discuss with each other, it's just going to increase. There is no solution to it, right? So basically the point here is the takeaway here is that try to hang out with the people who would you like to become or the different expertise people who will get you certain information that you can implement in your current uh, domain okay so that's uh, that's all about this basically point the important point here the fourth point is very important, guys update yourself with the new skills in testing domain there are lots of different type of tools especially coming in auto test, test automation right so what you need to do is that to remove the boredom especially uh, what i did was that even i was doing the manual testing i was continuously learning the automation testing right this was one of the major factor and uh, I had like uh, different colleagues with me. I mean, we were a team of 11 testers and they were totally not learning anything related to test automation because they were had a, they had a mindset that uh, uh, that they have manual testing and they have to conquer the manual testing, right? But what I was doing here is that that was one of the different thing is that I was continuously learning the test automation also and I was updating myself with the new skills. Even I was learning the new skills related to manual testing so you need to understand this it means uh, you need to update yourself with the skills whatever the skills is there right and you don't have to stop somewhere it means uh, daily take out one hour or two hours of, of your time and learn something new uh, this can be your first task or uh, before the, before you uh, you are going to sleep what you can do is that just learn about the manual testing techniques manual testing different you just uh, learn about certain test automations okay so that's what you can do you need to update yourself so if you are continuously updating yourself and doing the stuff uh, that will basically going to remove the boredom right this is one of the interesting thing that i have done and it's it works guys what you can do is that you can create certain blog youtube videos this is the video that you are seeing right now you can create youtube videos blog any kind of uh basically any kind of medium to put your content online so that share your knowledge share your expertise right if you are doing manual continuously just share the experience on youtube that i i am doing guys this is it means how are how you can improve people will get to know you people will uh try to give you certain suggestions right and if you are sharing your information uh, your knowledge as a blog even people will start recognizing you so this will definitely going to remove the boredom because uh, while i was uh, doing the manual uh, manual testing i was writing the scrolltest.com which you can go to scrolltest.com and that site was is now uh, is ranking on lots of different great keywords especially related to data driven python and uh, something like this so it's a site related to the software testing but yeah you you get the point right sharing your expertise in a blog and article especially going to remove the boredom that you have all right another point here is that reward yourself when you complete your task so uh in the previous uh, the point the first or second point I told you that you need to create certain goals, right? For example, if you are uh, doing a nine, nine to five job, right? And you have 10 tasks to do what you can do is that whenever you finish your two tasks or three tasks You can do is that go to go to your uh, Food court anywhere and just try to have a sip of coffee it means you just make sure that uh, if I finish the five tasks and I will get a coffee cup of coffee, right? just make a game of it make game out of this task right if you try to manipulate your uh, mind with that thing like okay i have to finish the five tasks and i will uh, then i then i will basically uh, take a sip of coffee or i will eat certain snack okay so that will basically remove the boredom and your mind will say okay let's finish the task let's finish the task let's finish the task so you need to reward yourself every time you finish any kind of task all right so let's come to the important point this is one of the important point that we need to take care is that network with other quality assurance people to gain your extra knowledge just talk to them uh, while i was talking to you about the my example right in the lunch or even in a certain uh, whenever i get this little bit time over i go to uh, i went to the uh, seat of one of the test automation engineer or any kind of marketing guy and talk to them about what they are doing, how they are doing great, what kind of things they do, what are the tools they use, how 
this works if i have a challenge i even discuss with developers right so you need to network with other quality assurance people or any kind of team right rather than sitting in your silo because the silo will make you bore and since the the task that you are doing already is a bore then definitely you are going to become more bored right the boredom will basically going to kill you in that case so don't be that guy just talk to the people network with the people and understand how they are performing and how you can perform for example uh, if they are using certain kind of scripts rather than doing the manual task so you can take the scripts and you use, use them right because but if you don't uh, network with them talk with uh, talk regarding this that you have these kind of challenges then definitely you are not going to help yourself cool this is one of the interesting thing is that helping the others in learning the concept related to testing right if you are because you are doing something because you know the stuff you have a knowledge right what you need to do is that help other people uh, find out certain juniors or any kind of people over the internet that may require the knowledge that you already have right post in the groups go to the facebook.com search for some uh, testing groups or any kind of groups that you find uh post your challenges or even uh, whatever the challenge they are facing just ask, answer them means uh for example there there are like lots of people who have uh, problems right and they will post on those groups right you just un- need to answer them right so that will basically going to help you to remove the boredom okay and this is a the important point and what you need to do is that discuss the discuss about your project and the challenges that you are facing with your manual testing with your developers trust me guys they will give you some great tips to help uh, those kind of tasks for example the task you are doing for example in the manual testing may not require certain task to do means you can skip the task because developers know that this is not an impact area right you will get more clarity when you discuss with your developer so discuss with them so that you can have clear understanding what you need to do and if you have clear uh, understanding you are going to do the task very well and that will basically going to complete your task and the chart the checklist that you have already is going to tick yourself and you are going to get reward and that will remove your boredom okay all right so let's come to the 10th point which is the uh this is where i see like lots of people uh don't want to do this one uh but i have done like multiple times the point here is that ask your boss to allocate to your different task so what you need to do is that here is that uh for example if you are doing continuously the same task and it's bore task right you will be already know that for example let me tell you example the cbt close cross browser testing right it's boring and what you need to do is that what you can do if you have already done like lots of projects what you can do is that you ask your boss that hey uh, i would like to change myself from these tasks can you allocate means you have to ask uh it depends on the situation basically most of the time boss will say okay let's other person will do it and uh, let's allocate you the different task okay tell them tell them how do you feel about this and uh, you don't want to do it because you feel bored about it so they will uh, basically give you certain tips how you can you remove the boredom right so it can go uh, it can be a little bit helpful if you ask your boss right so i would suggest you is that uh, basically do ask if you are feeling very tired means you are not tired if you feel that this project is totally useless means this is a complete manual task that you are already have done for like past one or two years and uh, you don't want to do it and uh, just ask your boss so that they can allocate to your different projects where you can have less boredom and you can totally focus on it right the important part the last one here is that innovate and read more to get the working knowledge and update for technologies this is the important one and uh, i would suggest you to follow this step if you even if you are a manual tester read online go to online forum forums go to medium.com and search for software testing related articles daily read them so that you inspire yourself that okay i am what these are the articles you need to learn these are the things people are doing and these will basically keeps you motivating and even if you are doing the repetitive task you can just put on some songs and do the manual task that you are already doing all right so that's all about the uh basically that's all about the 11 tips to remove the boredom especially 
uh, as a even as a manual tester and if you have find any kind of information or any kind of value let me know in the comments and question for you especially means how do you remove your boredom when while doing that manual task which is a repetitive task basically how do you handle this kind of situation let me know in the comments and i will definitely going to reply you and i will be waiting for the comment that you guys have all right all right guys thanks a lot and this is your promo this is promo and uh, let's see you in the next video bye